today is Coachella. We got a tan. It's gonna be a crazy vlog. Y'all, y'all wanted, y'all wanted it. Y'all wanted 2016 Patrick Star. Y'all wanted the vlog. Y'all wanted the tea. I'm honored to introduce a very new person on my channel today. Let me show you who, who it is. You, you might know. Girl, why are your hands orange, girl? This is Dows. TikTok superstar. We were just laughing because why does Dallas look like he's going to pack for RuPaul's Drag Race? Girl, what? Are you on the next season? And just an FYI, this Coachella vlog wouldn't be possible without this one because I am actually his plus one. I had no invite on brand trips. I'm the plus one today. Dallas is going with Clinique. And I was like, you know what? Let me go. Let's just have fun. Let's just have fun. So I was like, you know, since Clinique is going, I might as well have one size go. So one size is going too <laughs> with a party of one influencer. And that influencer is me. It is literally 9 47 uh, p.m. at night, and so it's Thursday. And I am doing my nails because I bite my nails. And the nail videos that I've done on the short nails have gone quite viral for. The simple fact that they are simple nails. Because I have been doing facials, I can't really get like long nails. So I actually am excited to be wearing long nails because I get to have an excuse to wear them. So look, I'm gonna take this Gel X little system. I prep my nails. I got all this nail stuff. I didn't want to do metallic nails, but I did not get black gel polished or a no wipe top coat. I don't know what the hell that means, but I need it. But look at all my rhinestones that I got and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my nails and then hopefully we are on the road by then. If you guys are liking this Coachella vlog, guys, we are in 2023. And if you guys was fucking with me and my vlogs back then and you fuck with it now, smash that like button so I know. And also tell me what you're excited to see in terms of future vlogs. Is this too raw? Am I giving too ugly, ooky, spooky, realness? Let me know. But y'all asked for the vlog of the last video, so here we are. Guys, you know, originally, funny story, this was supposed to be a trip of just me as a plus one to Dallas because Dallas is going with Clinique, so that's why we did that. And then last minute, I was like, let's make it into a one size trip. So we have the whole team, but... You know, now that we're here, I thought we packed pretty light. One, two, three, four, five, six, six suitcases. I guess it's fair. There's three of us going right now. If you count four, that's <laughs> where I was going. Wow, masculine. Who packed this? <laughs> Guys, I'm bringing this for exercise because my mom uses bottles like this for exercise. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are here. It is 3 a.m. and we've landed in Palm Springs at the Margaritaville Resort. Look, we got the suite. We have a bar right here. It's giving like 2016, 17 vlog with Patrick Starr. We have a little living area. It came with sushi all the way from Sugar Cash. Um, housekeeping is down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a 10 year veteran in the influencer space, I love giving back community service to this those in need. Way. Let's get the vibes, let's get the vibes. Okay, three, two. Hey MTV, Patrick Stark coming to my crib. I don't know what changes in latitude mean, but sounds fun. Oh. Hey guys, coming to my master bathroom. It's giving influencer trip. I want to show you guys a little hack that I have if you're an influencer or if you need good lighting. These are very expensive, but they're worth it. Oh, look at my nails, by the way. So cute. These little bitches fell off already because I didn't cure them in the light properly because my thumbs are like this. Guys, this I bought at uh, IMAT. Guys, this is so expensive, but I'm gonna show you why I love these. I bought two of them. If you're a makeup artist, a professional, working, like you need this, and I'm gonna show you why. How cool is this? Look at the lighting, guys. This is it before. There's no way I could do my makeup like this. This is with it on. Like, if you're gonna come to Coachella, come prepared, okay? Or come to a vlog prepared. Bitch, this is a car mount for filming. All I have to do is just turn. Guys, I'm back. I'm back at 
as an influencer. <laughs> I'm gonna prove to you that my beef face and makeup is waterproof. If this ain't an honest ad, I don't know what is, cause this is the truth, and I'm telling the truth. <sighs> Painted. Guys, this is insane. Waterproof. The one size on sells on waterproof makeup setting spray. Get it now. Mattifying setting spray. Oh I use the mattifying well. primer. Thank you. Uh, I ain't done. Hold on. Peach blush. Me too. Oh, we're wearing the same thing. I love it. All of it. Like, I Thank love you. it. I really do. Yeah, where where can they find you? My Instagram is Curly Chris. My TikTok is Being Crystal Nicole. And my YouTube is also Curly Chris. So. <laughs> she didn't believe me that I was Dallas plus one. But how stunning does she look? house guys the clinique hydration house is so fierce i got my rhinestones done i had some beverages energy drinks not alcoholic we got some like cute like little merch and it's such a vibe right here oh the girls are oh, out hey. the girl wow. just oh hey just oh hey rose <laughs> yeah now we're gonna go change shout out to work hunty for doing my rhinestones and yeah let's go have fun at coachella day one paul's first coachella <laughs> guys we made it we're a little bit late. We're like about to catch the sunset, but this was from Santee Alley. I'm rocking some shorts, hairy legs, some sneakers. I got my wristband on, and I'm obsessed with this hair. I need to show you guys the look. I'm giving kind of like stagecoach to me. <laughs> Coachella. How cute is this? I haven't been to Coachella in years, so hopefully you guys are into the look i am like obsessed with the tan shout out to dolce glow isabel the tan by the way is from an amazing spray tan artist who has done jlo kim kardashian and then also has partnered with miley cyrus to invest in her company and i'm so proud of isabel and everything that she's done if you guys want to support an amazing business with an amazing identity it's definitely dolce glow and look at the quality i am wearing the spray tan 12 all over my face and all over my body that being said i think it's time Time to go. I'm a specimen. I'm a baller. Take a deep breath. I'm a shark. You seven days a week. I be up on night, day and night, day day and night. I'm a specimen. I'm a baller. Take a deep breath. I'm a shark. You seven days a week. I be up on night, day and night, day day and night. I'm dope. I wear fancy clothes. I'm a hell of a I got hell of a it is day two of coachella and we are here last night i could not get myself to go to the party peter literally landed and then he rushed two hours and got literally right as bad bunny as was performing i don't even think he made it inside i'm so tired guys we're gonna get glam enjoy this like little time lapse if you guys want to see like it in detail you can follow my tiktok to see it step by step and then i should be done and i'll show you guys my outfit <laughs> Makeup is done. The hair is done. I'm obsessed with these rhinestones. I did a whole bunch of glitter using the Lemon Head palette. There's a bunch of glitters in here. And let me show you what's really, really cool about this. I got this at IMAX. And 
it is fully detachable the cover and look at all these gorgeous glitters and what's cool is that there's a ring down here that you can pop out and use as a palette when you're on set or anything and i am wearing a mix of like these two pinks at the top i mix some of the reflex on the bottom they look clear but i put that like kind of on my lid shout out to half magic the makeup artist of uh euphoria the key makeup artist uh, i put some rhinestones clusters in between and then it had some random clusters of pink rhinestones that i put on top of the glitter so it's like giving that extra dimension you guys i love it let me show you guys my whole outfit for today okay so this top i got from santi alley it's just like a handkerchief size the reason why i chose like this pink and green theme was because of this this jacket that I had, it was so cold last night. So I thought I would like shine in the sun today. I promise you this is a jacket. Years ago, and I forgot the name, um, but they made it custom for me all the way from the UK. And they specialize in these like fringe jackets. And I'm completely obsessed. So when it's like a little bit colder outside, I can like dance and do the whole nine. But that's why I picked like the makeup to kind of match this vibe. You know what's really crazy, you guys? Because I went to Coachella like a few years ago, maybe like 2016, I remember being on like my ASOS kick when I discovered what ASOS was. And I wore these shorts, but then I think because I gained a lot of weight, I couldn't fit them until today. And I was like, let me just try them on before my trip. And to be back at Coachella and have lost like the 50, 60-ish pounds, I'm like so proud that I can wear these and I feel really skinny with my tan and my hair and everything. So I just wanted to share that with all of you because you guys have been cheering me on here on YouTube. And I want to say thank you guys so much. I'm feeling more like myself every day. We're going to wait for Dallas because the bitch is late. And we're going to go hang out with Sugar and Spice from RuPaul's Drag Race. I bumped into them last night and they have like a little house party shindig going on with their PR team. So I'm going to go there, see what's up, have a little kiki, and then we're probably going to walk to Coachella shortly after, so see ya. Wow. I'm gonna die. Do you guys have do you guys have toenail clippers? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're just reaching in my makeup kit like it's <laughs> just available. So much fun at Posse, Posse PR, through like the cutest little party. Have a good time, and we actually made it here to catch the sun. So we're here, and this is the outfit and the vibes for today. The walking is fierce, guys. If you ever think about getting one of those little trolleys with a uh, bicicletas, like, do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. Just 
killed it. Dead. They were on like two hours going uh, crazy. Literally insane. They work so hard. They're incredible. They literally are pure entertainers. And you can tell the crowd is so amazing. I'm really inspired by all the hair flips and all of the heart they put into this show. Congratulations, Blackpink. I love you so much. The ground is good. I f***ing told you, bitch. I told you. Bye. You won me. You, you beat me. What am I saying? <laughs> you beat me in Tic Tac Toe. Yay! What, but what did you get? Oh, oh so playing cards. Oh, but yeah. it's like the bottle. <laughs> Guys, we had the most craziest, insane Saturday. It was giving bumping and thumping and broken shoes. Some people wanted to have their broken ass feet and, and gallivant all over Coachella. Please insert the, the Please clip insert of, the clip of, the of Dows heel. and his broken big ass hooves. Lie. Look at the lie. heel. Three, Paul, guys, lie. I don't have it. How much she paid? Ten dollars for the shoes. Uh, <laughs> Forty. Oh. Look, hey, look at his foot. So, look at his foot. Hold <laughs> on. I think. This is my friend Aiden. He just did a shoot with a magazine today. And I was like, do you want to work with one size on this trip? So I was like, I have an extra ticket. So you should totally come. Dallas and Aiden had never met. <gasps> Bitch. Oh, I told tall. you. Oh my God. This is the meeting for the first time. Oh, you're like 6'4". Back to back. Oh, well, yeah, I told you Aiden's taller. Look, I couldn't see what the f I was doing back we here. We were so supposed to leave an hour ago. <laughs> Google. What is this? I've always had this photo. It's really <laughs> no. Your nails? Uh, no, pull up this. Uh, I'm not taking my gloves off now. It's day three and the last day of day three of Coachella. I took a fat nap in the car because we're like about an hour away from like India, which is where Coachella is. A lot of walking. You can tell that my makeup is giving very natural today. Like brown eyes, glowy skin. The walking, the energy, it's so fun. If you guys ever get the chance, but you know, I'm, I'm just most excited to connect with other creators and just be out and about again because we've been in a great depression of the 2020s. I told my friends, I told my team, I'm like, you know, 100 years ago, we were in a great depression. After that, in the 1920s, we were in the roaring 20s. So to think about history repeating itself, where things are just like blowing up and like people are coming out and look how beautiful it is. By the way, my top is from Good American. I got this at Nordstrom. That's the last place that I would ever think to buy an outfit is Nordstrom and Good American at that. But we're here living our best life in my new body and my ever growing body as I strengthen my mind, my mental health, my emotional health and my physical health along with you, because you guys have been with me for a long time. So just wanted to say that I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. I'm a little lit. Welcome to Coachella. Peter. So we are here at this dinner event here at Coachella inside one of the sections. They are serving a full course vegan meal. Yes. Guys, we're here. Yes, I'm Jesse. We're at dinner. Incredible. I'm so happy we did this experience. It is 
to 57 a.m. There are no afters. We went crazy until like 4 or 5 a.m. last night. The Neon Carnival, you have fun, Paul? Yes. A lot of fun. The music was great. Um, this is the aftermath of the vibes. I love my lights, guys. Do you remember this? It, it really helps make a difference. It's like annoying, but it just really lights up the room. The bedroom is a mess. I know the girls are hungry. I know the girls are hungry and breaking out. Show them your crop. Wow, I've never seen someone so skinny. Um. <laughs> Guys, the way I am so shocked right now that we're at Denny's in Palm Springs. Chains and restaurants like this remind me of like Orlando. And to be here with like influencer friends and also with Jose, it's just crazy. It's like we're in Orlando. Boo! Ah! <laughs> This is the sad part about the vlog and about these trips is that it's over, it's over, but I, I want to milk the time here. I want to milk the time vlogging and I just want to show off my hair, my natural makeup. Like look at the aftermath of everything. I'm going to pack and talk at the same time. So it's just like so cool to be back in like my YouTube vlogger life. And you know what's crazy? I was talking to Dallas and my friend Aiden like, I was telling them, they, they were like, you need to show this on your TikTok. You need to show like less PG online. And I feel like I have a, a responsibility as a founder and as a brand owner to, you know, you know, be commercial and be age appropriate. I know my parents are watching. So what am I trying to say? I just want to maintain a level of professionalism and respect because from this point on, now that I have a brand, it all falls on me. And we all know here on the internet how crazy, how crazy things can get. If you guys have not tried these lip snatchers, they are so perfection. I was looking for this the whole weekend and it's been sitting here. I've been getting so many compliments on, you smell good, you smell good, like what are you smelling? Okay, I noticed when I spray this, it's like, why do you smell good? But this, this is the new Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato perfume it uh, has notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy i was spraying this all in my hair and all in my like neck and shoulders when people were hugging me i go just like oh my god you smell good we're actually late on checking out so i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and i'll see you let me talk about these gen z girls okay they are so ungrateful for for the meals that palm spring has to offer but they want a starbucks gentrified latte these guys are so ungrateful for the local offerings they have here get me a latte too with oat milk <laughs> okay guys so on the way home from palm springs there is this outlet here called the cabazon outlets and the twinks begged me to stop so they can go pee and here we are shopping. Oh, Gucci. You have Gucci, Armani, Lacoste, Prada. Let's go to Prada. Let's go, let's go. If you guys didn't know, I'm from Orlando. So the outlets are amazing. I bought some cute like little red spiky slides from Louboutin. Just to think about like how fashion is such a crazy industry. It's cool to see them repurpose and continue to sell their designs at a discounted price. And I love me a good bargain. So if you have the chance, come to the outlet to get you designer life. Is this your first YSL purchase? Yes. Oh my gosh. The girls are shopping. What did you get? I got sunglasses, red sunglasses. Oh, they're yeah. cute. Oh my god. <gasps> Take us to where you got them. Last pair? Yes. Square. Really? I'm gonna send some of your vlog clips. You wanna steal some of my vlog stuff? Pose in the mirror, let me see. Oh. Yes. Goes to Coachella once. Guys, so I got back to the outlet, Tabla and Jose. So funny, we went to YSL and Dallas was like, yeah, I never buy anything designer. Girl. Dallas saw me getting Jose a little something something and I was like, I want one too. And then Dallas was like, I want one too. So yeah, they, I think it's so cute. This is Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent. She really didn't have to. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. Oh my gosh, Too. <laughs> so we can match. 
Pink is my favorite color. Me too. Oh my god. So why is oh, it's a cute like, little wallet card holder. I love it. And it's so cute. Do you love? I love it. I and that's, love that's it. That's you and me have the same one. This is so freaking cute. Yeah. And look at the bag that I got. Like I'm a YouTube. I'm a full on YouTuber again. It's like a patent leather bag. That's just you know, really simple. Oh, and then, guys, I went to Christian Louboutin, okay? Funny story, when I walked in the blondes, everyone had to wear Christian Louboutins, except me, because they don't make heels in Christian Louboutin that wide. So this is me. Imagine me in the store at Christian Louboutin, and Dawson and Aiden are just sitting there, and I'm like, what's your biggest size? And they were like 13, and I'm like, I'll try the 13, please. <laughs> this is what I got. They're like red, spiky fun bit so that's what i got i mean yeah it's giving youtube vlog